Buffett's big everywhere. Yes, he is, and uh, he's a big sports fan as well, but he usually follows his home uh, town, uh, Nebraska, Cornhuskers, the college football team. He's a big supporter and goes to quite a few of the games. How did you get into contact or get to know about Warren Buffett for the first time? Well, I became a shareholder, Alec, in uh, 1995, 1996, when the B shares were first issued. And uh, the A shares were then trading at 30,000. The B shares at 130th were trading at about 1,000. And I went to Omaha, Nebraska, and joined some 10,000 people who descend on Omaha the first Saturday of May and listened to somebody who was telling the truth about investing, the truth about Wall Street, and uh, really uh, rang true to me. And uh, then three or four years later, I began writing and now here I am in Africa. When you say telling the truth, that presumes that others might not be. Well, Warren likes to say that Wall Street will sell you anything that you're willing to buy. And he uh, often uh, instructs uh, regular shareholders, uh, common sense, easy to understand terms, and doesn't uh, fill you with gobbledygook so that you can't really understand investing. That 10,000 who attended the first annual general meeting that you were at has now grown. I was there in May for my second meeting of Berkshire Hathaway, and there were 27,000 this year. One wonders when they're going to have to put a cap on it. Well, uh, there are, as you saw, they're already uh, overflowing. Uh, my guess is they might consider uh, webcasting it after it reaches a certain uh, attendance level. Why but is there such a lot of interest in Warren Buffett? Well, because I think people um, relate to him with his Midwestern uh, attitudes and values, his character, his reputation, and the fact that he uh, speaks the truth. And uh, no other CEO has quite the draw that Warren Buffett has. And did you get a chance to meet him? Uh, Indeed and I did, yeah, very yeah. fortunate. We had a special media gathering of 40 people afterwards. Um, where I was able to ask him a question. I guess that's, uh, that's a highlight of many people's careers, but certainly not as many times as I'm sure you've met Warren. Well, I've, I've been to Power Lunch with Warren uh, twice and also been to his office uh, a couple times. What's he like on a one-to-one -one basis? Well, he's very funny. Uh, I don't know if you picked that up at meeting him, uh, but he could be a stand-up comic. Uh, lots of jokes. A 77-year-old stand-up comic. Though. Yes, <laughs> yes. Very funny. He had me on the floor with uh, ex uh, extraordinary insights and uh, very funny answers to questions like, um, if you could have one publication delivered on a deserted island, which publication it would, would it be? I asked him and he interrupted me and he said a publication. I thought I'd get a person to, uh, on a deserted island. Uh, so uh, responses like that, Alec, were um, impressed me as somebody who was uh, not only very genuine, but uh, somebody who was extraordinarily entertaining with, with a, a memory bank that would uh, just uh, uh, floor you. You've made a career out of Warren Buffett in a way, writing a few books about him. How well have they sold? Uh, they've done very well, uh, I, uh, in, in particular because uh, Warren liked the first book I, I wrote so, so much that he bought uh, copies for his board of directors. And if you ever want to sell books, uh, you should uh, have Warren Buffett buy some and give them to his board of directors who are all billionaires. Better than Oprah. Uh, um, in, in, in terms in business of business, <laughs> in terms of management, investment, finance, yes. Uh, he, he's the Oprah of uh, the book world. And then my second book, he, uh, it's, it's the only Warren Buffett book that he's mentioned in his annual letters to shareholders. Um, there's been 30 books written about Warren, and uh, mine, uh, which is actually a book about his CEOs, uh, he really liked and therefore mentioned in his annual report. We'll